Hello, welcome to another podcast with Master Investor. Glad to be here again on another valuable talk on money, business, and investment. My name is Jose. I'm the founder of the company and brand. If you're new, make sure to follow us here in all other social media platforms and click the link somewhere in the description of this podcast so that you can access our digital courses and ebooks. We have three the 10 year rules of money, how to build cash flow with the internet, turn passive income on and how to invest in crypto to build wealth, understanding Bitcoin and blockchain. Today, talking about crypto, we're going to be covering a great topic, the difference between crypto and stocks. Remember today, we have five different asset classes that we can invest in. Number one, business, or actually real estate, doesn't matter the order. Number one, real estate, number two, business number three crypto number four paper assets and number five commodities they all require financial education today we're going to be covering a little bit of paper assets and crypto okay shine and light to crypto and explain why crypto is actually very powerful however uh, we could say that we need to calculate the risk farther and make sure that we're doing the right moves in the crypto currency asset class okay because crypto is an asset and an asset class but also is today's uh, new money in town because it's a currency we can pay each other we can pay businesses and the governments around the world are accepting crypto as a digital currency therefore we need to start using it because now we can take advantage of those gains immediately and the liquid see the power so we can actually use that okay and it's important that we educate ourselves so we never encourage anyone to give your money away to anybody or company to invest it for us we don't do that okay we don't sell investments this is not financial advice at all i'm a financial investor and we are all learning how to be more knowledgeable about business and investing through business principles the basics of entrepreneurship the new rules of money the history of money facts right and making a complex subject simple and that's what we're doing here a master investor right we're an investment management company because we are investing constantly in different asset classes right our team and then we have a financial department that creates financial education our brand to help the world whoever wants to tap into unlimited wealth and create their ideal scene in this life fast then get our education for sure because we're delivering financial education which is a one of the three types of education that exists majority of people only go for two of the educations that we're going to be covering today too but there are three educations that exist and that is academic education and the other one is professional education and then financial education. What's missing in schools, financial education. We all have academic education, reading, math, right, adding, subtracting, etc. We learn that. And it's important. All of them are important, actually. You know, we need professionals and specialists. But as an inside investor and a wealth entrepreneur, we are generalists. We know a little bit about everything so that we can bring the best out of our teams and we can bring the vision into existence. Right, whatever vision we have, we can tell the team to go ahead and help us bring that into this reality. So we are visionaries and we, we bring the best out of others. We extract their talents and we often wake our team up to strive for the best in all areas of life. And like I mentioned earlier, for, in the four pillars is important and we need to lead by example. So every day counts. We need to lay something towards our asset column, plant the seed every single day. Videos like this, doing live streams. This is digital real estate, by the way. I said doing live streams because we're also here on YouTube on a live stream. So whoever is listening to this on a podcast, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel because we do this every night when we do in our live streams as well. And I just want to capture as much 
context of the ultra wealthy so that we can all take advantage of it in all different forms. We want to be omnipresent everywhere at the same time. And when you get in today inside of our digital courses, whatever course you pick, and hopefully you pick all of them because they're all essential. Literally like we have built the bridge between the poor mindset with the ultra wealthy mindset and anybody can walk that bridge, okay? If you're willing to walk it and execute in your life. The information that you gather in the tools, resources, take action. Because that's the only way you will have results. And it's up to you what you're gonna build, where you're going to invest, what type of investment you're going into. That's up to each member here to decide. And you're gonna create your company and turn it into a brand. And it's better to do it that way because you have full control. Nobody's telling you what to do. You have a team, you're actually putting the, the team together. You have the ability to raise capital because that's the job number one of a wealth entrepreneur is to raise capital by putting a good deal together such as a commercial real estate property. And it's about, it's already together. It's not about like, it's just about asking the paperwork. We're gonna do that today too. I I was going to do that yesterday and we didn't end up doing it, but I have the website LoopNet on here on our screen. And as I go through the entire article today that we're gonna be talking about, if you'd like to have this in your inbox via email, then go to our website and you'll see the newsletter and it's free. So you'll have the articles via email whenever you don't have a chance to listen to our podcast. You can read it, it will take 10 minutes depending on how long the article is, but usually it's no longer the 10 minutes reading. And every day, as long as we read a little bit, we're going to get wiser in the way we spend money, the choices we make, and the relationships that we have in our lives. I cannot stress enough how important it is to better sometimes be by ourselves than be with the wrong company because every day counts like I mentioned and even though we may think we you know we're young and whatever age we may be at that at that specific moment always be grateful for that moment and let's not take it for granted let's optimize for the best life so that we can actually go to you know, um, the next level financially, optimizing for the great life, which means that we are happy, we have health, we have wealth, and then we have love. And the way we achieve love and happiness, I mentioned it before, is by contributing something to the world. And that means we have to be living through our purpose and passions. And it requires having the time, the free time to do, to be able to do that. And sometimes we can monetize today with monetize our passions with the internet, right? So if you have passions, you can actually make money with those passions through passive income by monetizing it because we can create digital assets that will monetize that content over and over again. So what is it that you are passionate about is maybe their niche and we can start building something that will create passive income over and over again. We want to focus on passive income. Rule number one here at Master Investor is that we work to build passive income and make money work hard through sound investing. And the reason why that's rule number one is because that's what the ultra wealthy do every day, right? And on the right side of the cash flow circle, we have the business owner and the inside investor. The business owner, we control and own systems and we make money even when we're not working at all in the systems. Like we're never going to be working on inside the systems. We're always going to be putting the systems together, which are pretty simple to do because they're already created for us. It's just connecting one system with another, copying one link in another system so they can talk to each other. That's how easy it is. And once we have that set up and the sales funnels are bringing in leads every single day, we nurture those leads on autopilot with an email campaign that goes out every two days or however we have it set. And that email campaign is created by tap professionals and it's proven to work to close leads for that specific product. So we don't even need to create the email campaign unless we want to. If you want to create it and make it unique, you can. It's up to us. You know, we have the freedom to do anything we want. That's what we're doing, what we're doing, to create total freedom. So 
make sure that you look at your life in in a financial way because money really matters when it comes down to like our dreams like don't ever think like money doesn't matter because it's literally the tool to multiply and to manifest our dreams very quickly so we need to master money fast and we can by investing our financial education and actively investing don't give our money away because we don't learn anything by giving it to somebody that does it for us and if we have fear that means we need to invest in our financial education regarding that fear regarding that as a class that we fear so much about the reason why we fear is because there is lack of knowledge in there there's missing information so we don't see what we don't know and we need to make sure that we have the right data so that we can monetize that asset class and we can always win money because we're here to profit as a capitalist and a master investor and an investor is a capitalist we're here for a profit legally and ethically and with integrity because we're solving a problem in the world that's why and we're solving other people's problems so you know water solving a problem right people like to drink water have it ready this is unique water this is from hawaii volcanic water it has is naturally alkaline and it has ele- electrolytes which makes you like really feel good and this coconut water here has also electrolytes and you know they're all products they're all brands and you can always learn from everything that you have your hands on like look at the brand study a little bit read about it look at the location where is it coming from look at the back label of it and also for our own sake for the, our own health right we want to make sure that we are consuming the right stuff and not just uh, mentally but like eating wise and drinking wise and remember that once we begin investing and we make money our slave because money now is working hard for us we're doing less and less making more and more and it's not, not about how much money we make but rather how much money we keep and how much money we keep working, maintaining it, right? Through sound investing, like, and how to minimize taxes correctly because when we have the right business, and I was saying this earlier, and we have the right entity, and we have the income that is coming in, whether it's through affiliate partners that we have, regardless, we don't wanna put that income through our personal name, never. Don't do that because that income has to go through the company that we have, okay? because that's going to be passive income and we can minimize taxes legally and we protect ourselves but we can also keep that money um, working hard so that it can build more freedom units on our asset column and it's all about focusing our energy on our asset column not so much on the income column or cutting expenses at all we encourage everyone to live above our means regardless of our situation because it's about the environments that we put ourselves in that causes our results in our lives so where are we really matters so if you're in a place and you know be grateful for it but you gotta go you gotta go and we gotta make moves and you gotta be where you want to be so make sure that you always live in that mindset okay because otherwise you start living things for tomorrow and we don't ever get anywhere like that we have to make sure that we are where we want to be today and work towards that it might take you a little bit to create a plan but today we have technology so we can manifest ourselves very quickly and everything is possible with the approach of the ultra wealthy mindset having the right context so that we can build assets that produce passive income and sometimes capital gains income specifically passive income because that's true wealth okay how long can we go without working and without having to worry about paying the bills because they are being paid with the companies and assets that we control on our asset column and we can do that for the next guarantee 200 years okay well there are wealth numbers 200 years that's how we measure wealth is with time not with and so that will be generational wealth if it's 200 years right but we have to start thinking like that so it's about the freedom that we have you know a lot of people commute to their work every day they lift the things that they love the most at home and they end up giving the entire health away for a paycheck 
and at the end they try to get their health back with the money that they worked so hard which caused them to lose their health very uh, much an irony right and we need to pay attention to where we're heading to and what are we doing because what we're doing today is what we are tomorrow basically today is the moment where we have that space to mold the future the way we want to because we are planting seeds and that's the most important point that I want to make today okay as we go through our article if you have any questions we have a live chat here on our platforms that we're doing a live stream with and also if you have a question on our podcast you make sure you write it in the comment section and we get a notification we'll come back and we'll have a dialogue okay we also have a discord Make sure you join our Discord. Just look for Master Investor. We are the authentic brand of money, business, and investing. I appreciate your time to spend today on this beautiful day on this amazing early morning uh, Thursday, right? 2.46 in the morning. That's right. A lot of people are sleeping right now, but a lot of people are awake around the world. And we're global right now. We have countries that we haven't even known that existed. And and uh, they're listening to us so thank you we appreciate the the support everywhere i mean we're literally covering the entire world when you see our analytics so let's talk about it let's have a dialogue and let's improve together okay so ways that crypto differs from stocks is simple guy discover the reasons behind no view on cryptocurrencies like stocks Summary, we can survive a financial disaster by being aware of financial bubbles. Financial bubbles come and go, therefore we need to be able to move when and how. We just need to be prepared. It's not about predicting the market because like I said earlier, and like I'm saying again to right now, is the market is going to go up and down. It's just the way it goes. So we just need to be with the right team and be prepared for any type of economy because we're investing in different asset classes so when one asset class go down we have strategies and we have all the asset classes that are still producing passive income okay so even when the crisis happened even when the bubble burst we even get wealthier okay when everybody's hiding and avoiding taking risks we get wealthier and but we need financial education. We need to grow our financial intelligence. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So this is good for all of us. And it's something that will be with us forever. It's priceless because money is a tool that we have to use for the rest of our lives. So let's master it. Let's make money our slave. We tell money what to do. And we tell money to bring us more money back through sound investment. To get financial bubbles, we must invest in our financial education. When we look closer, we will realize that the stock market and cryptocurrency are fundamentally different from each other. It would be easier for us to manage and invest in cryptocurrencies if we were aware of of these distinctions that we're going to mention in a few minutes. So let's examine in more detail the main differences between the two and their significance for individuals who are new to cryptocurrency but have some expertise with traditional trading. And remember, if you're trading, you have to understand that you're a trader and you need to upgrade your financial education so that you can become an inside investor and a business owner. It's not about owning a job, okay? But if you like to be a trader, then yeah, then that's fine. And maybe you get more education through our channel here, then you can eventually maybe upgrade to a business owner not necessarily that i'm saying it's better but it has more freedom it has more benefits you can still then create more excess for cash flow and if your passion is to trade then you can just do that as a hobby and make money with it but you also have different asset classes that are producing your passive income because you're investing in your financial education so you're not just closed up with one asset class which is like paper uh, paper assets right if you're trading or you could be trading also like uh, currencies um, so let's examine in more detail the main differences between these two and let me know if you have any feedback are we prepared to compare stocks and cryptocurrencies let's go number one self-response the main distinction between equities or stocks and cryptocurrency is self-custody 
When we purchase a share of stock in the past, we will receive a tangible paper stock certificate that, will, that we could keep in a safe. This gives us the ability to keep our stock in our own hands. Buying a stock in a company these days is usually done through a broker such as Robinhood, Vanguard, or Fidelity. The stock is held in custody by the broker and we are given rights of ownership that let us buy, sell, and take part in dividend payments and voting. It can take many days to transfer stocks from one broker to another, which is a laborious process. It might also have limitations and costs from the new brokerage company we have selected. In the realm of cryptocurrencies, we can choose to maintain our tokens on the exchange, much like stocks, or we can transfer our cryptocurrency into a wallet where we can access and retain the keys. This is known as self-custody. Number two, there are no outside parties engaged. Crypto holders who decide to take their cryptocurrency off exchange are in charge of maintaining our private keys and choosing safe storage options like hardware wallets or secure app crypto wallets in contrast to equities maintained by banking institutions. Number three, swaps, exchanges, and peer-to-peer. Selling the stock within the exchange is the only way we may exercise control over our ownership rights when it comes to stock exchanges. In other words, the stock market serves as a goal between for us and the buyer. Crypto, on the other hand, provides more possibilities. Peer-to-peer networks, decentralized exchange, DEX, and the ability to use our cryptocurrency as collateral and borrow another cryptocurrency in its stead are available options in addition to centralized exchange that provide a more conventional trading experience. This gives us more freedom and agency when it comes to handling and trading our cryptocurrency holdings. Number four, liquidity and value. Purchasing a stock entitles us to a portion of the company's earnings and physical assets. In the end, the company's ability to produce things or provide customers with services determines the stock price as does the likelihood of future growth because there is not a lot of data available to influence investment decisions based on historical performance investing in stocks is now safer safer conversely cryptocurrencies are digital assets that are usually backed by no tangible assets though some such tokens backed by gold may it is utility uh, utility, adoption rate, liquidity, and primarily speculation determine its worth. So how fast can we liquidate that, right? What's the liquidity speed and we can have the access? So it's very important they all have different rates. Number five, exchange rates. The fact that trading is allowed on the cryptocurrency market 365 days a year, 24 hours a day is one of its primary advantages. This sets cryptocurrency apart from conventional stock markets, which will have set trading hours every day of the year. The risk of volatility is always present with this kind of continuous trading, but cryptocurrency traders reduce this risk by putting automatic stop losses in a place that trigger token sales if prices fall below a certain threshold, but with stocks we explain in our digital course how to build cash flow with the intern term passive income on click the link somewhere in the description of this audio or video to have access to the ebook and digital course but there's a chapter there that we explain how to cash flow how to create passive income from stocks so check it out it's in there and maybe it's very useful for your next investment move number six Guidelines and, pol- and policies. Although there are strict legal frameworks that must be followed for both uh, stocks and cryptocurrencies, traditional markets have more defined boundaries than cryptocurrency. While some nations have chose 
uh, chosen to embrace cryptocurrencies more, others have placed severe limitations or outright bans on a specific cryptocurrency related activity. For anyone involved in the cryptocurrency market, understanding how to navigate the regulatory landscape has become crucial to maintaining compliance and managing any potential legal concerns. The regulations governing the cryptocurrency industry are always changing and adapting to the ever evolving sector. Number seven, mining and stacking. Methods used by cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum to guarantee the authenticity of transactions and network security. Their value is independent of a company's performance on like stocks. Rather, smart contracts are used in consensus processes control the creation and allocation of these coins. These mechanisms occasionally provide cryptocurrency-based incentives to users who participate in the network by stacking or mining. The focus of digital currency is one is on initiatives and community interaction. This technique aims to encourage more individuals to become involved in the Bitcoin ecosystem by holding tokens or mining blocks. Financial education is the education that creates true wealth. A quality education is among the top priorities for parents when it comes to their kids. For most parents, this entails providing their kids with an education that will enable them to save money, purchase a home, get a solid career, and build a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds which are label here in our community as fake assets because they don't put any money in the investor's packet. They're just withdrawing money every single month. Onto that, puts money into the investor's packet then is an asset. To that point, it's not an asset. So they just lack financial education and they think that they look rich on paper, but they're not enjoying that money because they don't have it. It's not liquid. They could sell it, but, and that's what I mean, unless they withdraw the money and some of them don't even let them withdraw the money early they'll have to pay penalties so don't give your money away keep control of it make sure you invest in your financial education and start small plan the seed it's better to do it that way because it only takes twenty eight hundred dollars per day to make a million dollars a year on cash flow and we can do that easily with our systems that we can have access today online so we can use other people's products we can use systems and marketing tools to start delivering unlimited leads to any type of sales page or any offer that we want to market and bring in leads that are, are actually looking for that product okay because we can pinpoint exactly who they are we study them we know that they are looking for that product right now. They have the credit card ready and they are going to buy from us because we put that message in front of them so easily that they can grab, buy, and repeat. It takes financial education in order to do that. But a lot of people have been taught to follow the old rules of money and they've been taught the wrong context. So they struggle in this new economy. Everything changes. And a lot of parents, unfortunately, they want to live their fantasies through their kids so you have to be careful if you're a parent and also if you have parents that are like that you need to have a serious talk with them okay because we are all unique in a way and we have dreams individually and we have to know exactly what are those dreams by listening to our intuition by listening to our heart and intuition together and understanding that we are moving with our passions in front in our purpose in life and we are aligned and the way we know we are aligned is because magic happens everything becomes very smooth and everything not just smooth but because we're growing we're feeling uncomfortable in many occasions we have to be comfortable by being uncomfortable because that's when growth happens but meaning that magic happens because we're literally like having this nirvana 24-7 as long as we're thriving in that or whatever passions we have, it could be more than one passion, but as long as we're doing it actively and that's why we breathe in our purpose and we're helping the world become a better place and we're contributing and we're getting everything out of life that we wanted because we are 
being valuable to the world and we are giving back and we're continuously building our asset column so that we can reach more financial freedom, more true wealth, more freedom, more total freedom. That's what it's all about. So one thing we don't jeopardize ever is our freedom because it's priceless, our mind because it's irreplaceable, and our time because it's also irreplaceable. We can get those things back. So we have to protect them at all costs and nurture ourselves, work on the four players of an extraordinary life, health, wealth, love, and happiness, begin to invest in a financial education, and we can see the results by applying the information into our lives. That's the only way we can turn information into knowledge. So whatever we're listening to today, we have to make sure that we take action. Otherwise, it's just information, and if we don't ever do anything with it, then it's just going to be somewhat of a waste of time because it didn't create anything in the person's life if we don't act on it. So whatever we're listening to has to be the right information so that we can have the ability to move on that and and put it to practice in our lives. We're looking for the next twist, as we call it here in our community. If you've been here, you know what I'm talking about. But a twist is anything. It could be one sentence. It could be a person that views what we're doing in a different way and gives us something because they've already been where we have been and they are considered mentors. And they have a twist that they're going to give us. And it's something that it could be right in front of us that we're unaware of. And it's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. And when we get to a point where we have, let's say, a half a billion and maybe you're stuck there and you want to increase that but you don't, you, you don't know what's happening, it's because we need to have the, another twist. We need to have a third party come in and view what we're doing and get the knowledge that they have so that we can go ahead and add that twist into what we're doing, our operation, to scale it to the next level. And there's always a twist. There's always somebody making money in silent. You know, so people that we see in the Forbes, uh, usually they're not the wealthiest people. Um, they're the most publicly wealthy people, let's just say that. And <laughs> the braggers, let's call them now, but um, in all seriousness, uh, there are a lot of wealthy people that we don't ever see on the Forbes list. 100% the wealthiest people, you won't find them on the Forbes list. Um, and it goes like that because business gives us privacy as well. You know, we can do business under all of our entities and we protect ourselves. We have holding companies that are holding other assets in each business or each company that we have or each, let's say we're acquiring a real estate property, each real estate property will have his own LLC or his own company, depending on what structure you're going to use, but it will have his own company and that will be held on a different uh, holding company that will hold all the LLCs, all the commercial real estate properties and so forth and that will be in a trust there are many ways that we can protect ourselves and we're going to learn everything that has to do with financial education so that we can minimize taxes because the highest expense that humans have are taxes okay in the entire life so legally we can minimize taxes by doing exactly what the government wants us to do which is grow the economy provide value towards housing so control real estate properties for housing technology agriculture, right, food, solar, and anything that helps the economy grow. And as long as we do that, we get tax advantages because the tax code is an incentive for wealth entrepreneurs and inside investors who have the right CPA and the right business attorney with the right tax strategy to navigate legally to minimize taxes all the way to zero. In fact, it will be unuseful for people that are financially uneducated to comprehend that in order to be wealthy we have to present ourselves with excess of passive income or known as excess of positive cash flow high expenses and low or zero personal income preferably zero because earned income is taxed at the highest bracket and earned income is through a paycheck because you're sold your time for money. The individual literally has a job or sells their time for money and they get a paycheck and they get taxed even before they get the check. And so that requires a different level of education to be able to build an investment plan that is actionable 
for the individual, meaning that they can take steps. So building a digital course or a low content book, such as a journal. And we show you how to do that inside of our eBooks and also on our live streams. We have done a live digital course. We created one in minutes. A, no, a low content book or no content book, as they, uh, they are known as like the journals or something to write in, like a journal or a notebook, a calendar as well. Something for the end user to write. It's more space and science, it just has a cover page. And we can do this on print on demand and we can have like the entire Amazon database looking at that product every day. And maybe it'll be $3 per sale, but it's passive income, it's coming in. We created one time, it took us less than 10 minutes to do it. Now we continue to get that $3 as we're sleeping and it stacks up. You know, it goes up to 25, 100, 300 and it can go viral so it's all about creating digital assets it doesn't have to be a huge chance it doesn't have to require a lot of money it doesn't have to require any money at all in fact we did a, an article yesterday on how to i think it was yesterday or the day before but it was on how to start a business without our capital because the phrase that people say all the time which is you no know, accurate that it takes money to make money we proved it to be wrong because the job number one of a wealth entrepreneur is to raise capital. So what we have to do is literally begin to create direct sales and position ourselves with systems. A lot of the systems are free. We can obtain them today for free online. These platforms are giving out their free software for us to use theirs because there's so much competition that they'd rather give it a free plan so that can contain the customer there. And when we want to have more features then we can just upgrade for whatever plan is right for our business but we can get started today so if you're listening to this anywhere where you may be right now residing just know that you have the tools the resources and most importantly a community here master investor that is willing to give you the good and bad news of money the business principles are working all economies and ensure that we're building our wealth successfully with the ultra wealthy mindset with the right context which is more important than content and we're going to be having more digital courses and assets that are going to be added in those digital courses to emphasize more and build on wealth fast. If we're not doing it fast, then we're doing it wrong, remember. And we have to be in good debt as much as possible because debt is tax-free. So we want to have a combination of good debt and also bad debt. We're going to have bad debt because we're doing what we're doing to be able to live the life that we want. So some of the things that we want in our life are liabilities and that is okay we just have to have assets that will pay for those liabilities so that will be bad debt in many occasions but we will have good debt with assets that will pay for those liabilities and bad debt and the expenses and the debt service and whatever we need to take care of they'll be paid with the assets that we are controlling with our company so and also we're going to three the excess of cash flow which is very important and i don't want us to go over uh let this go over our heads Make sure you remember this in your memory file, but also have it ready always at all times because this changes the whole game. If you truly want to become ultra wealthy and in your own manner, in your own way, it doesn't have to be millions, it doesn't have to even be a million. You could make, you know, 2,000 every three days and you'll be happy, right? And that'll be make you feel like you're ultra wealthy. But whatever your wealth number is, whatever type of passive income you want to have, just know that we have the tools, the resources, and we can get started without any money. And we can do it with the systems and everything that we're helping people understand today here at Master Investor. So take advantage of the products and everything that we're giving out for free right now. We have the newsletter. We have these live streams that we're doing. Also, our podcast every day so that we have higher financial education than the average. This is for the one top percent the 10 percent of the population but if you it's the one percent i call it you know this is the one percent of the population right here if you want to be part of the one percent of the population then this is a community for all of us okay we're going to give it raw the way it is with the ultra wealthy we're not going to make it look we're going to make it simple that's what we're here to do make that mindset very simple just give it how it is because we don't want to confuse and we want to be very direct on it. And 
there are a lot of great communities out there as well that are teaching about entrepreneurship and business that we also share some of the concepts. But like I said, we are the authentic brand of money, business and investing. So this is a community that you can always have to know that, okay, I'm going to come here and I'm going to get the right knowledge about money and make sure that you have other mentors as well and read as much as possible because that ultimately makes us more powerful. Okay. If people are not in, in agreement, then they still have a lot to learn about education and the workings of money. If they think that mutual funds, right, and stocks are assets, I mean, if they're not putting any money right now, they're not assets. In actuality, the majority of education is created to get individuals ready for the industrial age, which is a world in which the whole laws of money is still govern. And actually, but both the, both the world and education have changed. It's not just the world. Everything has changed. The new rules of money have emerged. So the laws have changed. So we have the financial education now, right? That we need to acquire every single day, which we are doing right now. Three distinct forms of education. These are necessary to comply with the new financial regulations of the information age. We must go beyond the academic and professional education to build financial freedom and true wealth. Number one type of education that exists, majority of people have this education, academic education, and the poor class usually have this education and they lack professional education, that's why they're usually in the poor class. Academic education, most people have this type of education. The issue was that the poor mindset on the left side of the cash flow circle have no financial or business management experience. As a result, even though some people are highly paid, they spend the majority of their life struggling with money and working hard to make more. Not being able to find total freedom because they are busy working hard for higher earned income while they could have the money working hard for them through sound investing. Most people lack financial education to do this successfully, so they rather save money. As we know, saving money is, loose, is a losing game, is, a, is losing money in the new economy. So savers are losers and good debtors are winners. It is a poor strategy to reach financial freedom and build true wealth. It is completely opposite of what we need to do in order to achieve true wealth. Most people want to figure out how to invest and create when it is too late for them to grasp and adopt the wealthy context. However, it is hardly never too late to start as long as we take the first step. So if we're listening to this and we're not late, we gotta get started right now. Invest in your financial education, get a course, whether it's through our products or somebody else's products, make sure that you're getting the right information and take action with the information that we're getting. In fact, with the information that we're giving for free, you can actually make money with it because the instruction and the background, the facts that we're given in there is to guide the entrepreneur spirit to create true wealth, to understand what is the difference between an asset and liability, the basics of money, the new rules of money, and so forth. When formal education falls short, or academic, academic education, right? As a, important as academic education is, the truth is that if we want to be wealthy, it won't prepare us for the actual world of making money. Instead, it teaches us how to work well with others. It accomplishes this by making us adhere to a strict timetable, follow instructions, and not ask questions. Failure results is rebook. If we inquire about the process, we will be labeled as a troublemaker. However, academic education discourages, often with great contempt, the very traits that make us successful in business and money. Those who perform well academically, such as the poor people, have an old habit of appreciating intellectual knowledge but disregarding financial education. They appear to believe that business and investing should be simple for them just because they are PhD holders, lawyers, accountants, or physicians. This is just a case of a scholarly hoverage. It is also a really costly arrogance. Number two, professional education. 
Similar to academic education or professional education is crucial. The goal of education is to become financially independent by contributing to society. For instance, those who wish to become doctors go to medical schools, attorneys attend law schools, pilots attend fly schools, chefs attend culinary schools, and so forth. Most people in the middle class have some sort of professional education. Limitations of professional education. The ironic issue is that most people believe a professional degree is the path to financial success. After all, individuals who pursue careers as pilots, surgeons, or lawyers undoubtedly earn large sums of money despite their high income. They are not wealthy, which is the issue. They are heavily taxed, but have no understanding of how money is managed. Therefore, instead of investing in assets or starting enterprises, they use their money on liabilities. Professional, and there's nothing wrong with liabilities. Again, as long as we have assets that pay for those liabilities, if we want a liability, we just gotta get up an asset. And if we already have liabilities, then focus on the asset column. Don't worry about cutting expenses. Not, in fact, it's the very opposite. We cannot cut expenses. We have to expand and the energy and effort has to be put in the asset column right now because investing with good debt and investing on that asset column constantly is going to get us out of bad debt and get you stable where you don't have to worry about paying the bills because the assets are paying those bills for us and now we have reached financial freedom. That's the first stop. And once we do that, then we build true wealth, which means that we're compounding that asset column with additional assets in different asset classes to have more freedom and more options right now so we can create more. Professional school, at most teaches people how to be self-employed and employed, but now, no, but know how to run a business and invest our money to make money. Professional education teaches people how to own a job or work for earn income. Financial education, today, will need more than just academic and professional education. If we are going to be successful in the world, it takes talking about financial literacy daily to become aware of the opportunities in front of us with the new economy that runs on debt. Learning how money works and how to make it work for us is the goal of financial education. It teaches us the history of money, how to read a financial, a financial statements, how to leverage debt, the distinction between an asset and a liability, and a ton of other things that are essential in our wealth creation process. A schools that offer both academic and professional education do not offer that kind of financial education, which we are retired, which, uh, which a retiree to have to build true wealth, total freedom, which is required to have to be able to build total freedom. I had a typo in there. Pardon. We will at most learn how to balance a checkbook, create savings accounts, and create a budget. In other words, the, the school systems are built to literally create employees and soldiers, okay? And that is instilled in the mission of the school board. And we talked about it before in the history of money. It shows us that in 1902, 1903, Rockefeller family instilled the mission in the school board. They basically hijacked the school board and they wanted to create employees and soldiers. So when we go to the entire funnel of the school system, you're gonna come out thinking like an employee, looking for a job, wanting to feel secure, avoiding mistakes, because in school they teach us how not to make mistakes. They give us the material, we study it, and then they tell us we have a test, and if we fail, they label us dumb. And a lot of people, take that to the heart. If they've been doing that their entire life, what happens in the real world is totally the opposite. There's no such thing as here's the material and if any help and any shortcuts to our mentors, but it's not like in school. It's not like here's the map. It, it only through our mentors. We can learn through their experiences and we can avoid mistakes. But in real life, we get the lesson right now. The lesson is happening right now in this moment. And it's up to us whether we are willing to learn the lesson behind today to earn the blessing we need to be aware we need to be here we need to be present we need to write our goals down whether we choose to do it through our phone or 
computer, smart device, iPad, whatever we have, even a piece of paper. But we need to write our goals that we're going to achieve every single day that are aligned with the four pillars of an extraordinary life, health, wealth, love, and happiness. And we need to become producers, not just consumers. Too many people consuming everything, everything, everything. And we can consume as much as we want, but as long as we focus on the asset column, because a lot of people, they work for material things. They end up killing themselves, literally, at jobs that they don't like, not to spend time with their family. They end up leaving their family, their entire career, working every morning to late in the afternoon. And that time is gone. You can't get that time back. So if you truly want to tap into the fast track, then we have to take massive action. We need to understand how to build networks and be likable. That's one business tip that I can give as a bonus today, is that in order to have success in business, we must train ourselves to become more likable. And when we're networking, because we also help people understand about business networking here inside of our community, everything that has to do with business and investing, and of course money. We provide financial education made simple on that, like we're doing right now. But yes, we need to make sure that we are building networks and we are make are likable because people do business with us because they know they know us right they trust us and they like us so we need to be authentic and a lot of people think that those at the top are mean and it's not like that i personally have a lot of relationships at the very top one percent and they are very nice but we don't want to piss them off so we can't come in with a job because a lot of people do that thinking that they are mean people. They are nice people, extra nice. So don't be fooled by the myth that we have to be aggressive. Now, if you're in a different environment and you have to be aggressive, maybe you're enjoying a jungle and now you have to be aggressive because you're being pursued by something and then, or you in somewhere where you have to be aggressive, then that's different. We're talking about business here. And when we're networking, we need to be extra nice. People want to do business with us and they want to bring us around because we're extra nice. We have to be careful how we speak and we have to be ready to be the right person at the right time with the right mindset, with the right context, which is more important than the content. Remember that. We have to operate with the wealthy context. It's the philosophy about money, what we believe, how it's created. And everything that we're covering here is giving us that context of the ultra wealthy. To be clear, nobody is advocating for financial education to take precedence over professional and academic education. In actuality, people who have gained from both types of education must assist others who are financially literate. Without the aid of excellent attorneys, accountants, brokers, and other professionals, success is impossible in the financial world. So we need a specialist, but we are generalists. We need to just decide what type of player we want to be. There are four players in the cash flow circle. We have on the right side, like I mentioned earlier, the business owner and the inside investor. On the left side, we have the employee and the self-employed. And we all form part. Some people play all of the players, but truly, where do we want to live and thrive? Wealth is created on the right side of the cash flow circle as a business owner and inside investor. And the job of an inside investor and master investor is to make money work hard through sound investment. However, the truth still stands that financial education is just as important as academic and professional education, if not most more important in my opinion, because money is the one tool that we're going to be playing for the rest of our life and it answers all things and it multiplies everything that we put, put it to and it magnifies who we are. So who are we becoming is even more important than actually having the money because you don't want to be an ugly person with money because it's going to make you even more uglier, meaner, or whatever you may be. So it's important that even as beginning stages, we all have to go through the beginning stages. Just remember, nurture ourselves through self-development, leadership skills. That is priceless. Become smarter. We have to become smarter to capitalize on the new opportunities that are going to be falling on our laps because everybody's panicking and hiding and avoiding risk because they lack financial education. They lack exactly what we're talking about here in South of our community.
To succeed, we must possess financial intelligence. Which side of the cash flow circle are we living? Below, we can see the cash flow circle we created here at Master Investor to demonstrate the different players of the game of money. We all form part of the game of money, but not all players work and make the money the same. On the right side of the cash flow circle, we have the business owner and inside investor. Wealth is built n n um, n wealth is built on the right side of the cash flow circle. On the left side, we find the employee and the self-employed. They work hard for earned income and they focus on giving their money away to others to invest for them in fake assets, liabilities like 401ks, mutual funds, bonds, ETFs, etc. And they pay the highest in taxes because they don't do what the government wants them to do, so they end up paying the highest in taxes because they find investing risky as they lack financial education. Pick which side we would like to operate from, from all the time. It requires shifting the context in order to go from the left side to the right side. In conclusion, despite the difference, both stocks and cryptocurrency have significant places in the investment world. We strongly advise us to learn about the philosophy and background of cryptocurrencies in order to fully comprehend their purpose before we decide to take a chance on the trillion and lucrative world of investing. Although a token's value is significant, its mission and community involvement should also be taken into account. Digital currencies are simpler to access and trade than stocks, but a well-diversified stock portfolio often offers greater stability than cryptocurrencies. Meme coins are one type of digital currencies that might only be valuable because people wish to possess them. If we are new to investing in cryptocurrencies, don't forget to exercise appropriate risk management and get competent financial guidance. We have an ebook on that, like I mentioned earlier, you can click the link somewhere in the description to access them. When it comes down to it, the most important factors for making decisions that fit our goals and risk tolerance are information and education with facts. Continue our financial education and never forget that our intellect is our most valuable asset. And remember, this is meant purely for educational reasons. It is not financial advice. None of the things business coins or protocols mentioned in our, art, in our article are sponsored by it or associated with them. It is crucial to carry out extensive study and only make investments that we can afford to lose or you know, we are willing to take that risk. Seek professional assistance for individualized financial guidance, but most importantly, let's work on investing ourselves. Don't give our money away to anybody invest in our financial education and then invest in assets actively. Start small, plant the seed on that financial, on that asset column, learn about our financial statement and begin to work to build passive income and make money work hard through sound investing. If you have any questions of today's talk, let me know in the description below ways that crypto differs from stocks. That's what we talked about today. And I hope that you learned something new. I'll see you in some of our inner circle, bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles at work in all economies. Thank you for having me again. And remember there are two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. And we want to use debt as much as possible because debt is tax-free, all type of debt is tax-free because money is created with debt. And today the national debt is over $34 trillion. And why do we need to say that and understand it? because if the government prints money, we can also print money. So let's jump on the wave of printing money. That's the new way to become wealthy, is to legally print money by having assets that we control with our companies that are building passive income for us, and of course, sometimes capital gains income. Make sure that we label assets what truly are assets because they are putting money in our pocket right now, whenever we're not working, even while we're sleeping. And an asset is a system of systems. And doing sales via systems is marketing. And the job number one of a wealth entrepreneur is to raise capital. The number one skill is to sell without selling using systems and smart marketing. And the job number one of an inside investor or a master investor is to make money work hard through sound investing. And that's exactly what we're doing here inside of our community. Mastering all of those abilities so that we can have total freedom. 
bringing you the good and bad news of money, the business principles of working on economies. I'll talk to you in the next podcast. Stay extraordinary and wealthy. Bye for now.